Just do me a quick favor before this video gets started. Lean back, relax, and enjoy the upload. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome to a glorious day. I can't even beat around the bush and I cannot contain my excitement about this one because yes, we finally have a Mega Cab Ram here on the channel. It's been so long overdue. You guys have asked and asked and asked since I debuted my first truck that wasn't a Duramax some years ago. And today, yes, today is finally the day. Plus, it's in the brand new spanking new garage and it feels absolutely incredible to be here under all of the pole building lights shining so bright on this beautiful diamond black crystal pearl coat that looks ever so good under these 16 21,000 LED lights. I'm a little bit hype if you guys can't tell. Now I'm truly hopeful that today is the last and final day that I'm gonna have to make a video under this ceiling in the freezing cold because the garage doors are going to get installed later this week. I'm so excited about it. I'm planning on filming as much as I can while I'm out of town so you guys might expect a takeover on the vlog by Jake. But in the meantime, I've got the insulator on. A lot of you guys have been asking questions about these and yes, they are available on the site. Very minimal design, but very maximum worth. We double layer it with a hoodie only because I like to be extra warm when I'm outside. Man, I'll tell you what, it feels kind of like another familiar brand out there in the market. If you guys want to grab one and get entered for Lone Star, we'll knock out two birds with one stone. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, take a look at the brandy spanking new mega cab that sits here on the brandy spanking new slab and the brandy spanking new covered walls under the brandy spanking new lights under the brandy spanking new vibes of the pole building and I am I am so freaking excited to be making this video right now. I really need to stop repeating myself. It's just that I feel like if I said it one time, it's just not enough. So what we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen, is, as I had mentioned, a very new low mile, only 14 miles on the odometer when it was delivered from Rhode Island 2022 diamond black pearl coat Ram 3500 one ton limited Longhorn mega cab and it is absolutely gorgeous, guys. We had been back and forth and back and forth over the last few videos inquiring to y'all about what it is that we were gonna be bringing to the channel. Lots of you were weighing forward, but there was a lot of you, I mean, I am saying a lot of you that were weighing on the Dodge side because we haven't had a Ram on the channel for quite some time. We're dating like all the way back to Delmonico, which was that absolutely gorgeous Delmonico red fifth gen that was lowered down on 24 by 14 concave nemesis wheels. We had some very subtle paint match on it. Absolutely incredible looking at night with its rock lights on and then ended up going out to Isidro Chavez of Northern California and he's been loving that thing every single day. If you haven't followed him or if maybe you missed that upload, we're going to go ahead and put his Instagram right here on the screen. You guys can go tune along and just see how much he is absolutely loving that rig. So huge kudos to you guys on that one. I got to give it to you. So this very specific truck for me is more than just the truck that you see under these night lights. It's actually a lot more as a matter of fact and I'm going to go into a quick little story time briefly. Dating all the way back to sometime circa 2010 is the first time that I was introduced to the Cummins diesel platform. I was nothing but a young buck and an avid motocross enthusiast at the time. As I progressed through my love and passion for motocross, I realized that I wanted to take the sport a little bit further. So my parents bought their first ever pickup truck and that was a 2007 5.7 liter 1500 mega cap. It was white, very nice truck, but it really didn't 
cut it for multiple reasons. It was fine to haul the bikes in the bed. It's just that it had questionable reliability issues and my dad was getting rather frustrated with it. And I was like, pops, you should have just bought a Cummins the entire time. I'd always loved diesels. It's just that we never had one in the family. And of course I was nothing but a young buck. So I was rooting pops on to get one. So short of the long, they ended up going out to the dealership one night. I thought they were going to be trading the truck in or getting it fixed again. And they ended up coming home with a minivan. And then they proceeded to tell me that that was the replacement for the pickup truck that we'd be using to get to the track from that point on. Needless to say, you can kind of see where I get my pranking personality from and why I pull pranks to my wife and she does the same to me all the time. It kind of runs in the family. The reason they brought that minivan home and not the mega cab that night is because they were taking the leather interior out of the mega cab and switching it into the truck that started it all for me personally and my love and infatuations for what I knew I would be obsessed with with diesel trucks and brought home a 2007 59 Cummins 3500 mega cab dually. Boys and girls, it was at that very point that I was in love. You also might know that I'm massive on vanity plates and as is my father, you might say the apple didn't fall far from the tree. That truck went by the rig and that's what we called it forever until this day that he still has it, drives it and loves the ever living crap out of it. So you might be shocked as am I that I haven't done a mega cab sooner, but I'll tell you what, we've been saving this one for a very long time and I am so freaking pumped about it. Now, before we go into any more details about this truck, I need to know, do you guys have any similar stories from when you were growing up that just stuck with you until this day and have driven you to do what it is that you're doing in your life at this very moment in time. You gotta let me know. All right guys, so this thing is fully loaded from the front to the back. It has pretty much every package that you can opt in from the factory, except for the sunroof, because the OEM manufacturers are running into massive small chip shortages, which are leading them to have to make business decisions on which packages are more important and in this truck, it actually got one special feature that I'm gonna show you guys a little bit later in the vlog that I'd almost prefer over a sunroof. I know, I just said that, but everything's fine. Trust me, I promise. You'll see why later in the video. All right, boys, so starting in the front, we've got the badass All-American Flair, which is the Longhorn package. So I've never had a Longhorn before, and I've never had a Mega Cab 3500 before. We're doing a lot of new things here on the channel, boys and girls. So the Limited Longhorn actually comes with an exclusive front grille. It's super clean, super minimalistic with these straight cross bars. You'll find that the Limited has a little bit of a different grill, but they do share the same headlights. The Limited and the Laramie are two top trim trucks from Ram. It's just that they come with different aesthetic styling. Grills vary from model to model and headlights on the Limited are different than the Laramie. Laramie headlights have two kind of DRLs that run the top and the bottom, which I think actually look awesome, but then they're short changed because it's a slightly lower trim package truck where it doesn't have turn assist projectors or high beam, low beam LED projectors. They are just incandescent bulbs. This thing rather has DRLs here and DRLs down below. Now the Limited also comes with full paint match bumpers, which is absolutely epic. It saves Sean at Peach Bottom a little bit of work to be done because boy, Boys and girls, come on, you know where this truck resides and we have a general idea as to where it's gonna go. I'm not gonna give away any secrets in this vlog though. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. Now what's kind of cool about this one is it's already got blacked out tow hooks on it. I was expecting chrome ones, but it must be something in conjunction with the Longhorn package. Now we're looking at the oh so glorious 6.7 liter inline six Cummins up under the hood and exclusive to the 3500, it is the high output version version, which comes with the six-speed ASIN Trans. I believe that sucker right there makes over a thousand foot-pounds of torque. If I'm not mistaken, it is the creme de la creme of the Ram packages. And aren't they beautiful with such low miles on them? I mean, we're talking brandy spanking new here. I don't even really want to drive it, but I do want to drive it. And we're going to get to that in a little bit later in the video. Now, I got super lucky with this truck. It's been very hard to find anything in today's day and age, but this one was optioned up exactly as I was looking for with cab lights. I love cab lights on my truck. Sometimes I like to build them without, but this one I really wanted to have them with because it calls so much attention to the mega cab aspect, which are super cool in so many different ways. We'll get there in a minute. And then of course we've got our dual color chrome black plastic mirrors that are power folding, heated, and all the whole nine yards. Now this truck does come equipped with the power folding factory steps as both of our previous fit gen Rams did as well. And then we've got the mega cab. This adds quite literally I'm gonna say it's like 18 inches of space to the back of the cab paired in conjunction with a short bed. And man, I'll tell you what, the direction that we're gonna be taking this thing, boys and girls, is one you guys are not gonna wanna miss. I have wanted to sink my teeth into a mega cab for the longest time. And finally, that baby is here. Now you guys can see it comes with some really badass kind of gloss gunmetal gray windowed factory 20 inch Ram wheels. I do like those.
those a lot, but they won't, they won't, they won't actually be on this truck for long. But take a good look now. Take a good look now, because they still do look fantastic. Optioned in from the factory on this thing as well, which I wasn't aware of, is a soft tonneau cover. LED light here in the bed handle and the brand new spray bed liner. That's like one of my favorite things ever. Never use, never touch, never work. It won't stay like that forever on my channel because I do use my trucks. I like to get them as new as I possibly can, but they they will be put to use. I'm sorry, it's a pickup truck and, and that just happens. But hey, shout out to those people way back in the day when I first started my Instagram that said I didn't need a diesel truck. I mean, I I, I know, what would I, ever, what would I ever need a diesel truck for? This thing is pretty optioned up though. Oh. It does have all the little gizmos and gadgets on it. It's got the Ram factory step, which is an interesting proposition from Ram. I can't say that I don't mind it. And it just integrates right back up in the corner. Did I mention that these things have factory paint match third brake lights? It's fantastic. All right, I'm bringing you guys up underneath the truck here. Do you see something that doesn't look factory? Can you see it now? You see it? Can you see it now? Yes, boys and girls, those are factory airbags with self-leveling arms right there. Look at those little suckers, man. That is absolutely awesome. And I'm super stoked to see OEM manufacturers incorporating self-leveling air technology into their trucks. It's about time. A one-ton truck is ready to haul 2,000 pounds in the bed. One ton, if you will. Now, the 3,500s differ from the 2500 Rams, there's a lot of variability in their make and model lineup right now, but that's because when you get up to a 3500, they come with leaf springs in the rear, which I actually somewhat prefer. It's a little bit simpler in my personal opinion, versus the 2500s, which have leaf spring technology in the rear. They're said to ride a little bit better, but they're a little bit more complicated to modify. It's not that complicated. It's just like a track bar and a sway bar and, and coil springs, kind of like the front of the trucks just in the rear. But yes, anyway, you get my point. Now, that being said, though, it's pretty easy to overload the springs so they actually added in airbags to help out with that, which is absolutely awesome. And they're self-leveling, all which can be controlled from the 12 inch updated infotainment system inside the truck. Very nice, Ram, very nice. Okay, okay, so that was a very generic overview of the exterior. If you guys can't tell, I'm just a little bit excited about the Longhorn package, mostly because of what it offers the interior. And you know, if you're an OG to this channel, that I'm all about the compliment and the vibes in the interior of a pickup truck. I'll always respect the black interior without a question of a doubt. But man, when it comes to a unique alternative color option, I'm gonna be the first to raise my hand. And the interior of this truck might be one of the nicest that I've ever had in the history of all the trucks on the channel. And it could be one of my favorites, mostly because it matches my furniture in the finished section of the building boys check this out oh <laughs> would you just look at it this right here is what makes this truck so incredibly awesome in its entire package it's this saddle brown interior and all of the interior accents and details that make the longhorn limited a longhorn so limited let's just start in the back here guys first of all i hope everybody took my request and laid back and enjoyed the upload because you can lay back and enjoy the back seat in this truck it's ridiculously comfortable the mega cab so much space it's something that i just forgot about but brings me back to those days when my pops was driving my mom was sitting up in the shotgun and i was chilling in the back seat laying back relaxed on my way to a race man my parents were the absolute best they were so supportive of that sport and all the memories are coming back right now the nostalgia is just so real it just looks a little bit different so we got big details here in the rear longhorn patches stitched onto the seats we've got like crocodile style skin on the top of the back seats, we've got these badass buckles that are actually just simple little magnets here on the back of the seat. It's really a cool feature. Makes you feel like you're a bandit, if I do say so myself. I probably should have worn my Ariats today, but I didn't, I was slack and I was too excited to make the upload, what can I say? And then when you come over and look at the door handles, you can actually make out that all of the trim is like a bronze, style gold more of a bronze but a little bit gold depending on the light You've got it here around your speaker bezels your door handle and your door inserts as well as this little handle insert there plus the complement you've got your black and brown leather stitching one of my favorite color combinations ever to exist just because it's so classy and says so much without saying anything at all now of course in the back seat here we do have heated seats ready to rock and roll for the passengers as well come on what was ram expecting for a passenger to sit back here and recline and not have a heated seat i'd expect massaging seats soon come on dodge get on it and that brings us up to the front of the truck the cockpit we've got all the options greeted by a brushed ram step sill here this thing is awesome now i was driving it earlier today 
And we're gonna jump to that first impression here in a minute, but let's just take a minute to soak in the vibes. My friends, this thing is ridiculous. We've got all of those same compliments from the back up front, as well as around the steering wheel with a two-tone style steering wheel. I've always liked this about Dodge. They'll actually do a non-leather wrap steering wheel up on the top. On Delmonico, being that it was a limited, it was like a black with white stitching. This one is like kind of a faux style wood. Same thing down here. It looks really, really nice. It feels just different when you're driving it, but I, I can definitely get behind it. The gauges are just so sick. I love the detail and all of the embezzlement that goes around them. I also love the fact that right now it's got 39 miles, but it did deliver at 14. Looking around here, we've got all the awesome options from Ram with, with this huge fully adjustable center console, all the factory programmable auxiliary buttons, as you can see, trailer assist, we've got our exhaust brake and the whole nine yards. Now there's a few more things I just wanna show you guys, so stay tuned. We're gonna get to them at the end of the video, but I just have to give you guys my first impressions real quick. All right, guys, I want to apologize. A little bit of this video was filmed out of date. Unfortunately, my wife is under the weather and I'm pinch hitting today, hanging out with my son. It's been awesome though. I wouldn't change it for the world. I've got a few errands to run as I'm actually going to pick out Old Faithful chicken noodle soup for the stomach bug. And this is my first time driving the 3500 limited Longhorn Mega Cab. And I couldn't pass up my first impressions with you guys. So we're greeted with this epic cockpit in the limited Longhorn. The Longhorn trim is absolutely epic. These incredible color tones and to compliment that the driving experience is nonetheless. We've got the heated steering wheel on and heated seat as we speak, and we're cruising in style. I kind of feel like I want to be a cowboy right now. I'm not even gonna lie, man. This multi-grain steering wheel combination leather and wood is pretty freaking sweet. I'm not gonna lie. A pretty epic gauge cluster where it almost has like a Western embezzlement around each one of the gauge clusters themselves. Now this truck came completely equipped from the factory with everything except one feature, and that was a sunroof. Now this truck has what the AT4 has, and that is the backup camera rear view mirror. And I'll tell you what, I'd prefer that feature over the sunroof any day because you can no longer get blinded by somebody high beaming you in the rear. And at night, it's almost like it's daytime because you have that utmost low camera visibility. It's a very nice feature. Oh my God, is this John Broderick, the new owner of Convict? I had a few minutes, man. I just wanted to give you a call. You've had a, what, about two and a half to three weeks with Convict now. And I want to know how your new marriage is treating you. Well, the new marriage is working out good the, um, it's not making the old marriage jealous right oh my gosh it, it, it's 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 crazy <laughs> um in a, a semi truck yells out the window nice ass truck really loud he yells you know Hi, dude oh that's amazing man i'm glad to hear that you're adopting everything that comes with owning a diesel truck man especially one that's one of a kind you have a hundred ten thousand dollars cash right there that you could probably sell that truck for tomorrow that's not happening. No, good. Well, hey, I don't ever want to put pressure on anybody's choice. It's just nice to know all the options. So I had, like I said, a few minutes, man. I just wanted to give you a call. I was thinking about you. I wanted to make sure you were enjoying it. For those of you that couldn't catch on, that was John Broderick, the owner of Convict, aka Dream Diesel Giveaway number 20. That truck was a legend, and now John is the living legend of Lancaster. All right, now that we're back, I wanted to walk over the infotainment screen. I think they updated this for 2022. It took on a little bit of a new look and I like it a lot. It's kind of Tesla-esque in a way, I'm not gonna lie. I think they just keep looking at Tesla taking ideas, but it is what it is. I like it, I'm not complaining. We've got all of our media tabs down at the bottom. It's very intuitive, very simple to use. And then all of our apps. So it's pretty cool. You can sit here and add widgets onto your customized screen. For instance, if you wanna put where I have my seats, obviously, cause heated seats, steering wheel, you guys get the gist, you know what I'm talking about. You can add other things like navigation and uh, shortcuts, blah, 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 blah. I got seats there. And then you've also got Alexa. All right, let's give it a shot. Hey Alexa, go to enthusiast.com and get me 10 times entries right now for Lone Star and $30,000 cash. Oh no, it's showing me that I can't do that but you can if you smash that link in the description below. But overall, the infotainment section is way better compared to some of the previous generations. Definitely a nice addition. So boys and girls, that is the 2022 Limited Longhorn Mega Cab that's finally here. Welcome on the channel. And I'll be honest with y'all, I got so many ideas spiraling around in my mind. I cannot wait to see this whole build come together all right before your eyes. We're talking wheels, tires, suspension. A lot of things are on the way and in route. And I know without a question of a doubt that you guys are gonna absolutely love the direction that we end up taking this truck. So that leads me to the next question. What path do you guys think that we're gonna be taking this truck in? I 
absolutely without a question of a doubt have to know in the comment section below. I know that you guys are all about the attention, the detail though. It's so obvious, that's why you're here, that's why you watch this channel, because we've got the highest quality following out of all of YouTube. What are we doing? Wheels, tires, boys and girls. The question is, what is it? What are we doing? A lift, a level, a lower. What are we painting? What are we changing? What is the truck going to look like once it's all said and done? That's left up to your discussions in the comments below. All right, now hang tight boys, I gotta go grab something. But wait, there's more. Just wait, there's more. Definitely get my workout in. Oh. Why do I feel so out of shape but I go to the gym every day? All right, boys and girls, I'm excited. Mostly because Ozzy and Otto just came to visit the vlog and wifey. The most exciting part of the vlog is right now. So yeah, it's been a really tough 48 hours in our household. I had an awful stomach bug that just ran its course over the past 24 hours. And then Kelsey got it directly 12 hours after me. Jake and little it. Jack's been sick. Jake now has it. And it has just been Your extremely viral in the household. It. Not the good kind of viral. Like it's ran through my entire family. And we're still both kind of somewhat down on energy. I'm like a day and a half out of it feeling much better. Kelsey's coming off of like the 24 hour window. I think the thing that we didn't realize with the stomach bug is like the body aches. And oh, the fever. it feels like you get hit by a bus. We had COVID over the summer and I would. I would say that this was worse. I, I had body aches pretty bad when I had COVID. You had a little bit of a different symptom experience. Yeah, I didn't really even know I had COVID. But you didn't have a fever with this thing and I had a crazy fever. It's crazy no, how things can affect today, people differently. I? Hey babe, real quick, what do you think about all the lighting in here? What do you think? It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, nice. no hiding your true colors. No hiding the true colors now, how about that? So guys, I went a little bit in on the retractable options that we're gonna have here on the wall in the pole building. We've got our Flexzilla to match. So we've got three retractable 60 foot reels. These are 12 gauge, 15 amp reels that have illuminated power to be known on the three plug extender, one here, one over there and one there. And then we've got our 50 foot retractable air hose reels. Again, one there, one over there, and then one right up in this front corner. 50 foot from there is gonna get us all the way over there and all the way over here. 50 foot from here is gonna get us out to here or over to here, over there to there. You guys get the general gist of my thought process with laying out the lines that are going to go on the walls. And I had one at the shop, but it was different. And I really wanted to outfit this space as my dream man cave to match and that's where we're at it actually comes in somewhat influence from sam king over at limeridge automotive as he's building his dream space in what is the new limeridge automotive he happened to do galvanized on the interior walls from a conversation we shared when i was deciding to do my interior walls which i think is absolutely epic and i saw those flexzillas i really liked them went on amazon they weren't priced all that bad so i decided to scoop them up so we'll have some work to do in future videos but boys this is an exciting time because all the goodies are going to start to make their way around now for those of you guys that don't know this building is up at my house and it is not going to be my quote primary shop I've actually got another location where it will be said primary shop this up here is more or less just a location to enjoy my passion for making videos with the trucks that we work on and for getting the oh so beautiful pieces of equipment rigs included and cars included out of the elements the fleet's a little large what can I say I needed a big shed I mean look what we're talking about this GMC takes up essentially 95% of the space in here. Also, another really great news, the heater has arrived. We've got it somewhat unboxed. It is going to span from that propane line all the way down 10 foot in from the wall on that side to provide our heat and it couldn't come at a better time being that this bad b is going to be sealed up here in just a few days so that being said ladies and gentlemen that's where we're going to wrap up this upload i hope that you all had an absolutely splendid thanksgiving we are so thankful for all of you and to have this absolutely awesome family of a following Grab those 10 times entries for Lone Star before they go away early this coming week and pray for snow because I'm really trying to rip this RZR in some white powder. If you know what I'm talking about, it would be a blast. You never know. You never know. It could be 90 degrees tomorrow this time of the year. It could be absolutely freezing and we need to be wearing our insulators. You just never know.